it provides the more spread up about the topic to some mathematical trip chains the to represent idiot or red ah, the development soon meaning in this video we will talk about problem solving puzzle and logic and also in this video we will talk about how to solve two different math problem solving puzzles but first let's talk about problem solving problem solving in terms of learning mathematics comes from the belief that mathematics is primarily about reasoning not memorizing also the importance of problem solving is allows students to develop understanding and explain the process used to arrive at solution rather than remembering and applying a set of procedures logic that study of truth and how universal truths may be obtained through mathematical deduction it is the most fundamental mathematical language and the underlying premises of proof importance of logic is it helps us in comprehending uncertainty and dispute it assists us in determining the source of the conflict it helps us determine whether it is due to a distinct application of logic or different building components it also empowers and enables learner to use what information is offered to them and expand on it this is puzzle problem it is a series of tasks that require learners to use their reasoning and logical thinking abilities. Why is logic important in problem solving? Logical thinking abilities are vital because they may help you reason through difficult decisions solve issues brought product innovative ideas and set goals all of which are required for job advancement benefits of problem solving skills Problem solving plays the focus on the study, making sense of mathematical ideas. Problem solving encourages students to believe in their ability to think mathematically. Problem solving provides ongoing assessment information that can help teachers make instructional decisions. Good problem solving activities provide an entry point that allows all students to be working on the same problem. Problem solving develops mathematical power. It gives students the tools to apply their mathematical knowledge to solve hypothetical and real-world problems. Problem solving better represents the nature of mathematics. The first solving problem that we will learn today is Kangaroo Puzzle. Kangaroo or Kangaroo or Kakaroo is a type of logic puzzle, sometimes known as a mathematical transcription of the cross word. Kangaroo Puzzle appear on a regular basis in various math and logic publication 
across the world. This is an example of a complete kangaroo puzzle. Now, we will proceed on how to solve a kangaroo puzzle. The task in kangaroo puzzle is to fill an empty squares using numbers that is 1 to 9. So the sum of each horizontal block is equal the clue on its left and the sum of each vertical block equals the clue on its top. In addition, no number may be used in the same block for more than once. And now, help me to how we gonna solve this Kakaru puzzle. This Kakaru puzzle is a easy one. This example is to help us to understand more about the Kakaru puzzle before we proceed to the more and more hard, harder level of it. To solve this problem, we must first find the two numbers that are equal to 9 and 6. That would be also resulted to the number 12 and 3. And in these instances, we use 7 and 2 to equivalent to 9. And in order to get the number 6, we also use 5 and 1, which is 7 and 5 are aligned to 12 to make it equal to number 12 and, and 1 and 2 to the second column in order to get the number 3. And that's how you're gonna solve this Kakaru puzzle. We must also always think about what numbers would be equal to the number on the top and the number that beside that number. Now, reminder, now that we finish solving this Kakaru puzzle, just a reminder, this is just the most basic kind of Kakaru puzzle. And there is more and more types of Kakaru puzzle that are more harder to understand but we just use this example to make it more clearer to everyone that's that watching this video on how to solve Kakaru puzzle. I hope this example will help everyone on how we are gonna solve Kakaru puzzle. Thank you! Trivia! Did you know that the first ever jigsaw puzzle that was created by a map in Gavier called John Sleep Bury in 1762? Now you know. And also, did you know that puzzles are also good for our brain? Studies have shown that doing jigsaw puzzle can improve cognition and visual spatial reasoning. I hope this trivia help everyone to be interested on doing puzzle because there are a lot more benefits that we can get in doing any kinds of problem solving. Now, we will proceed to the next problem solving that we're gonna talk about. What is the missing number? In this next problem solving math that we will solve, we need to get what is missing number in the picture. 
First, in order to get what is the missing number of the illustration, we need to look at the number inside the cross and we can see the three given numbers are 20, 12, 25, but there is a missing number in the bottom of the cross. The question is, what is the missing number? And what we'll do to get the missing number? First step to solve this is we need to look the number outside the cross which is 4 in the upper left and 5 at the upper right 3 in the lower left and 5 in the lower right. Between the 4 and the 5, there are 20 in the middle looks familiar and in the 4 and the 3 there is 12 and in the 5 and the 5 there is 25 looks familiar did you see the clue now we will show you how to get the number inside the cross first is the 20 to get the 20 we multiply the numbers that are around it which is 4 and 5 and if the multiple 4 and 5 it resulted 220 that's also what we do in order to get 25 and 12 to get 25 we do 5 times 5 equals 25 4 times 3 equals 12 and in order to get the missing number, we need to multiply the number between the missing number, which is 3, 5. And if we multiply 3 times 5, it will result to 15. And now, we will find the missing number in the illustrated, which is 15, if we simplified it. In order to get the number inside the cross, 4 times 5 equals 20, 4 times 3 equals 12, 5 times 5 equals 25, 3 times 5 equals 15. Math problem solving is hard as what we see, but we see in our example, if we just think critically how to solve it and look for the clue in patterns, it will become more easy to solve and it will help our problem solving skills and logically skills and we finally say math is fun. Thank you for watching this video guys. Please like, comment and share to this video and subscribe. Ilocano Math TV.